Hello everybody and welcome back for some more GoldenEye with Bubba, episode number 8, I believe. And here today we are playing on Nightclub yet again. Uh, but this time we are playing Conflict, not Team Conflict or anything else rather than that. So basically Conflict is more of a free-for-all type of match. It's basically every man for himself, you know. You just, you're just gotta duck and cover and, you know, just don't die that much. That's all I gotta say. So today, um, or actually... I, w I was supposed to upload this on this week, but for some reason I had a lot of school issues going on. So I figured today I might as well upload it and I get a chance to because I was going to eventually post this sometime this week. But since today is Wednesday, I'll have an episode um, today and then I'll have another one like sometime uh, this week, this coming Saturday. You know, the, the usual. But anyways, uh, I am using the drumhead. Whether or not you guys like it or not, I am going to be using it because this is such an awesome gun to use on free for all. It really is. I mean, uh, there's like a lot of people to shoot at, and there's just it's just a more quicker way and more efficient to get kills. <laughs> not to mention, leveling up is a good thing for me. I could possibly use that. So, um, unfortunately, I am already maxed out because I played this. Well, I play with Odin Spack a lot, and. Uh, I've already am at the point where I'm maxed out completely of this gun. So, <laughs> anyways, but it's still a fun weapon. I have this now on my new class, shotgun class, and it's ridiculously good. Like, no joke. That spot over there, that's where a lot of campers are, sometimes. Uh, just give you a little fun fact about this level, because um, I'm pretty sure you've seen Nightclub many, many times, but I might as well show you that once more. Um, also, too, there's going to be some ridiculous points in this match. I had, an, like, as much of times recording this, I actually found to s sort of upload a conflict match, and I didn't really have any much team uh, matches recorded, and plus, again, not many people joined at this time. I think I recorded this, like, what, um, Friday or Thursday of last week, and there was just not much action going on, so I decided to hop on conflict. Mainly because uh, I normally hop on conflict because, you know, I feel like I need to warm up and practice before I actually start doing team uh, conflicts with uh, my buddies Odin's back and Shots and Helfinator and all those other guys that I normally play. Bam, what a headshot right there. Oh, that was ridiculously nasty. That was just rape sauce. I, I can't even explain how that was. Yeah, I get a lot of headshots in this match, so to speak. Um, which was kind of sexy and ridiculous, but, you know, I, I really don't feel like I should say that anymore, because I'm just making an ass of myself. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, um, yeah, today I decided to post this up uh, today because I had, as you may or may or may not know, I am at summer school right now, and there's been just a lot of things going on. I'm taking, like, three classes at the moment. Um... And I have an online class to deal with. Like it just started like this Monday, so now I have like nine units total. So it's ridiculous. The schedule is going to be like so. Um, this may uh, um, conflict my uploading schedule a little bit, um, but I still should be around to keep you guys posted for my let's plays. And uh, you know, because if there's any, if if I have time to record an episode, I will most likely let you know what's going on on Twitter. Um, in the future, I will let you guys know. <laughs> but for now, I'm just kind of, you know, stressed out of school, and I just want to get things done and hopefully finish off this school year pretty good. Um, bam, what a long... That's a long shot right there. I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, there's like a lot of spots where I don't see like many people. It's usually hard because they, they blend in so well with the uh, environment. Like, if you ever play on like... Uh, um, Outpost. There's like a lot of people who have like white coats on, whatever. It just blends in well with the atmosphere. It's so ridiculous. Like I have to really look careful at where they're going. And most of the time too, I know exactly where they're going. Most of the time. Um, depends on which team we are, and it really makes sense too. You kind of map out your s just in order to play this, you have to kind of get a familiar feeling of the map of where people are actually going to be. Like in nightclub, it's obvious people are always going to be in this spot. Um, yeah, just wanted to make sure I get him. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot of those that are just like, oh, I can't really see the guy. I got to really pay attention to that. <laughs> and it's, I don't, I don't mind at all. I just really don't mind. Like, 
It's just funny how I say that. It's just really funny. Um, I get shot. That's not good. <laughs> so, <laughs> by this point, I'm seeing, I'm starting to realize that a lot of people are using like Sigma's nines. Well, it, like not too many um, higher ranked people are using Sigma's nines or Sigma's guns. I think mainly because they're trying to level up that gun, and it's really hard to level those, especially if some people have like body armor, reactive armor, or anything like that's really high defense on your person. You know, just to kind of give your team a little bit of boost but I think now I finally reached that and I already got all my weaker guns done and so I, I had a little problem with that because I always like to use new guns whenever I, I unlock them especially on the first time you know because uh, I wanted to try it out and see how the guns are but the drum hit it's really awesome there I get another great achievement points um, but by that time well as of now I'm already completely maxed out of the drum head and I'm pretty much the only thing I need to rank up now is the Master 10, uh, full automatic shotgun. Yeah, because most of you pointed out it's full auto, not semi-auto, which I don't know why it was, but okay. <laughs> um, also, I need to m pretty much max out like my other submachine guns. Uh, there's the Innova, there's the Strata. Actually, the Innova's the uh, um, assault rifle in the category. There's also some other sh snipers that I haven't really touched upon. Uh, there's a sniper that's called Talon that I usually pick up. The majority of people who are higher level have that weapon. So I can assure you that, um, well, it's such a harder level to get that gun. You, I think you need to be like 40 something. I don't know when you get the Talon. Next level, I'm currently 32. This is the level you get for Drumhead. Um, next level 33, I believe you get ACOG scope, which increases your distance when you zoom in. Um, if you're, it's really good for like sniper rifle. Or it's kind of good for snipers, assaults, and that sort of thing. Um, but you know that's gonna be my next um, thing that I unlock. Uh, the next gun I think I unlock is the uh, either the uh, Anova or Strata. I don't really exactly remember which gun. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time. It's like I would say level 37, 38. Um, I'm trying to think what else I get close. I also unlock uh, remote trigger mines pretty soon, if I believe so correctly. It's going to be like a little bit later after uh, ACOG scope, though. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited for that. I can't wait to try that out. You know, because I heard that's pretty good. That's a pretty good combination of as such for like um, assault rifles and uh, sniper rifles. So. Um, I think I haven't even paid attention to this map really. It's <laughs> I am winning, that's for sure. I just do damage with this gun. Like this is like the only gun I use in this map really. <laughs> I didn't even bother taking out my Kanara. It's just that sick. <laughs> um, nothing else really to say, honestly. I mean, we've seen this map so many times, and I do apologize for that. You know, again, Nightclub is one of my favorite maps right now in, in GoldenEye. Um, I should say my other favorites would be um, Archives and Outpost. Even though Outpost, I play Outpost so many times. It's like me and Odin always get bummed out because we always have to pick Outpost because Outpost is like one of the most popular maps that are voted on GoldenEye Online multiplayer. And so I think the other one that's the most popular one is either, well, Sewers is like the least popular. Sewers, um... There's also Memorial, that's the least popular one. Uh, I think I showed you Memorial before. I don't think I've shown you Sewers. And that's another map I would like to show maybe in the future if you guys want me to. Uh, but if there's some maps that I haven't shown, please leave them in the comments below and I'll probably start with that next week, if so. But yeah, just feel free to mention that because I'm pretty sure I have shown you most of the maps. No, I don't, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure I've shown you all of them, but just in case. And also, too, if, uh, if I haven't shown you other, uh, any other modes that you want me to see, uh, like, for instance, I don't think I've ever shown you uh, GoldenEye. It's, uh, it's kind of like territory, so to speak, but it's more of seizing control of the uh, satellites in the GoldenEye game. I believe I saw Odin Spec 33. He did a Golden Saturday of uh, that on his... Uh, I think his last few seasons or episodes of Golden Eye with uh, or Golden Saturday. So, if you guys want me to do that, obviously the match is pretty much getting close to an end right now. But if you guys want me to do that, that's fine. Um, 
Um, but other than that, uh, the last few seconds here, I finished this person off with the bam, ba bam, ba bam, and it's over just like that. So, all right. So 30, 30, and 22. By the way, um, 30 is the maximum points to uh, to finish off the game in uh, conflict. So, yeah, that's pretty much conflict in a nutshell. But anyways, do keep that in mind. Uh, uh, post some comments down there, suggestions, anything like that, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Golden Eye with Bubba. Take care, guys. Peace.